If you've been waiting to see whether Apple can finally catch up in the AI race, yeah, we all need to find out. I used to think Apple was hopelessly behind after watching Google and Samsung roll out flashy AI features for months. But with the iPhone 17 launch approaching, Apple's making some bold claims about Apple intelligence that deserve a reality check. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. In this video, I'm breaking down exactly what Apple intelligence actually delivers, how it stacks up against Google's Gemini and Samsung's Galaxy AI, and whether the iPhone 17 event will prove Apple can compete or just confirm they're playing catch-up. From on-device privacy to real-world performance, I tested what matters when you're actually using these AI features daily. Why Apple's AI strategy matters. Here's the thing. Apple isn't just late to the AI party they're taking a completely different approach. While Google and Samsung lean heavily on cloud-based models for raw power, Apple is betting everything on privacy-first AI that runs locally on your device. Most tech reviewers focus on the flashy demos and marketing promises. I'm more interested in whether Apple intelligence actually solves real problems better than the competition, and whether their privacy-focused approach gives you anything worth caring about in daily use. The complete Apple intelligence breakdown. So here's exactly what Apple Intelligence brings to iOS 18. I tested the core features across multiple categories, writing assistance, visual intelligence, creative tools, Siri improvements, and privacy implementation. Each feature was evaluated against Google Pixel and Samsung Galaxy equivalents to see where Apple actually leads versus where they're just catching up. Let me walk you through each capability and show you what actually works. Feature 1, Smart Writing Tools. System-wide AI assistance. Apple's writing tools promise to work anywhere you type. Mail, messages, notes, pages. With AI that can rephrase, summarize, or refine your text instantly. Real-world test. Taking a long, rambling email thread and having iOS 18 condense it into bullet points, then rewriting a response in a more professional tone. The system-wide integration is genuinely impressive. Unlike Android, where AI writing help is scattered across different apps, Apple's approach means consistent functionality everywhere. The summaries were accurate, and the tone adjustments felt natural, not robotic. However, this is essentially catching up to what Grammarly and similar tools already do. Apple's advantage is the seamless integration, not revolutionary capability. Feature 2. Visual Intelligence and Photo AI Apple's camera and photos app now include AI-powered search using plain English descriptions, object removal tools, and automatic memory compilation into mini-movies. Real-world test, searching for photos of Maya on a bicycle in Paris, and using the cleanup tool to remove unwanted background objects. The natural language search works surprisingly well, matching Google Photos capabilities from years ago. The cleanup tool effectively removes objects, but occasionally leaves obvious artifacts. Google's Magic Eraser still performs better in complex scenarios. The memory compilation feature creates decent mini-movies, but the results feel generic compared to what you'd create manually. Feature 3. Siri and ChatGPT Integration Apple finally made Siri conversational and, critically, integrated OpenAI's ChatGPT for complex queries that require external knowledge. Real-world test, asking Siri to plan a five-course meal for a dinner party, and following up with dietary restrictions. This integration transforms Siri from a basic command interface into something approaching useful. The ChatGPT handoff works smoothly with clear user consent prompts, and the responses are genuinely helpful. However, you're essentially getting ChatGPT through Siri's interface. Apple's contribution is the privacy layer and system integration, not the underlying intelligence. Feature 4. Creative Tools Image Playground and Genmoji Apple added on-device image generation through Image Playground and custom emoji creation with Genmoji, all processed locally on the neural engine. Real-world test, creating custom emojis from text descriptions and generating simple illustrations for messages. The on-device processing is impressively fast, and the privacy benefits are real. Your creative prompts never leave your device. However, the output quality lags significantly behind cloud-based alternatives like MidJourney. The results are adequate for casual use but won't replace dedicated creative tools. Feature 5. Live translation across apps. Real-time translation now works in messages, FaceTime, and phone calls, translating speech on the fly for natural conversations. Real-world test. 
having a FaceTime conversation with live translation between English and Spanish. The feature works reliably for basic conversations, matching similar capabilities that Google and Samsung have offered for months. Apple's implementation feels polished, but this is clearly a catch-up move rather than innovation. The accuracy is good for simple exchanges, but struggles with complex or technical discussions. The privacy performance trade-off. Apple's core selling point is privacy. Most processing happens on device, with heavier tasks handled through encrypted, private cloud compute. But this creates real limitations. On-device models are inherently smaller and less capable than cloud-based alternatives. Apple compensates by partnering with OpenAI for ChatGPT integration and reportedly exploring deals with Google's Gemini. The result is a system that's more private, but often less capable than the competition. For users who prioritize privacy over raw performance, Apple's approach makes sense. But if you want the most capable AI assistant, Google's cloud-powered approach still delivers superior results. Hardware requirements and upgrade strategy. Apple intelligence requires serious processing power. Only iPhone 15 Pro slash Max and the new iPhone 17 series support all features. The iPhone 17 Pro will likely feature an A19 Pro chip with enhanced neural engine capabilities. This creates an obvious upgrade incentive. Apple is essentially saying, want our AI features? Buy new hardware. Older devices get basic enhancements, but the generative AI tools require cutting edge chips. The strategy makes business sense, but fragments the user experience. Android's cloud-first approach works across more devices. Apple's on-device requirements create artificial limitations. Competitive reality. Here's where Apple actually stands. Google leads in raw AI capability with Gemini's powerful cloud models and years of search data. Samsung offers the best of both worlds through Google partnership, plus their own innovations. Apple provides the most privacy-focused experience, but with meaningful capability trade-offs. None of the three has a commanding lead yet. Apple's strength is ecosystem integration and user trust. Google's advantage is AI muscle and innovation speed. Samsung offers hardware variety and productivity features. What to expect at the September 9th event? Apple will showcase iOS 18's AI features as transformative while staying true to their privacy messaging. Expect demos of writing tools, Siri improvements, and creative features, all emphasizing on-device processing and security. Don't expect a revolutionary AI assistant launch. That's reportedly delayed until 2026. Instead, Apple will frame these features as meaningful improvements that transform what users can accomplish without compromising privacy. The event will position iPhone 17 as the first device truly built for AI, with hardware specifically designed to run Apple intelligence efficiently. This sets up future upgrades as AI capabilities expand. Apple intelligence represents solid catch-up work with a genuine privacy advantage, but it's not the AI breakthrough that changes everything. Apple is playing their ecosystem integration strengths, while acknowledging they need partnerships for cutting-edge AI capability. For users already in Apple's ecosystem who value privacy, these features provide meaningful utility without major compromises. But if you want the most advanced AI assistant available, Google and Samsung's cloud-powered approaches still deliver superior performance. The real test isn't whether Apple intelligence impresses at launch. It's whether Apple can iterate quickly enough to compete with Google's innovation pace while maintaining their privacy commitments. The final verdict. After analyzing Apple intelligence against the competition, here's my brutally honest assessment. Apple has built a solid foundation that prioritizes privacy over performance but they're not winning the AI race yet. Apple intelligence wins if you're already deep in Apple's ecosystem, privacy is your top priority, and you're willing to accept good enough AI performance for better data protection. The seamless integration across iOS apps and on-device processing create a polished experience that feels distinctly Apple. Apple intelligence loses if you want the most capable AI assistant available today, need cutting-edge features for professional work, or you're using older hardware. Google's cloud-powered approach and Samsung's hybrid strategy 
both deliver superior raw capability. The September 9th event won't crown Apple as the AI king, but it will establish them as a credible alternative with a unique value proposition. Apple is playing the long game, building privacy-first infrastructure that could pay off as AI becomes more pervasive and privacy concerns grow. My prediction? Apple intelligence will satisfy existing iPhone users who value privacy and ecosystem integration, but it won't convert users from Android phones with superior AI capabilities. Apple is catching up, not pulling ahead. The real winner in this AI race might be consumers. We now have genuine choice between raw performance, Google, feature variety, Samsung, and privacy-focused integration, Apple. Competition is forcing everyone to improve. What matters more to you in daily AI use? Having the most capable assistant possible, or knowing your data stays private even if that means less powerful features? Share your priorities in the comments. Your real world needs shape, which approach actually wins. If this iPhone 17 preview helped clarify Apple's AI strategy, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical tech analysis. Next week, I'm comparing the iPhone 17's AI capabilities against the latest Pixel and Galaxy devices in real-world scenarios. Next week, we're doing the ultimate smartphone AI showdown. iPhone 17 vs Pixel 10 vs Galaxy S25. Testing which AI features actually improve your daily workflow versus which ones are just marketing hype. If you have predictions about which will win, let me know in the comments.